So today is the finest banana. Yeah, I'm 
Yeah. Once I, I was like, I'm on the break, I just kept going. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> Anything. Anything. I don't need yeah. number yeah. go out. And it'd be like 20 minutes for this in the house. It's like, nah, you're not about to get no 20 minutes. Yeah. You get home, you yeah. ready. Two hours past that time, you're still away. Okay. 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 Father, thank you. Thank you for another Sabbath dinner, for another month, for another opportunity to come together as family, as a community, to break bread. And thank you for even having the covenant to include food because you know, knew how much we love food. So thank you, Father. I pray for every single family that is represented here, every single family through their process of the living water, so for the approval, for the repentance, for the forgiveness, for the love. Thank you that we will learn to grow into that more and more and be of all one mind, one love, one thought, all of that. Thank you, Father. Love you. Please let me pray. Amen. Yeah. Once it's cut, you can cut it first, man. The la look at the layers! It's the layers for me, though. Oh, oh. There's like herbs and garlic all through the bread. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is the bread. Oh, Bro. MJ. What are you doing? That's cocoa powder and he got it everywhere. <laughs> so you just gonna go to the bath. You wanna take a bath? I don't wanna take a bath. Oh yeah, I wanna take baths? You got stuff in your hair. I'll go to take a bath. This is insane. 
So that's me. MJ. Oh, no. <laughs> I am finally, well not finally, because I feel like I've actually gotten this together in a matter of like two weeks, but I've been, but I feel like I've been doing research for this for a long time. Oh, I'm getting our homeschool room together. Originally, I thought I was gonna make our playroom our homeschool room, which would still be our playroom, but we would have like a desk and things in there for the older two, Mike and Sarai, who will be in kindergarten this fall and pre-K three this fall. I thought I was gonna keep them in there and do all their school stuff in there. But as I continue to just do research and reading or listening to rather the For the Children's Sake book, the audiobook that I put in a vlog a few vlogs ago, I realized that I needed to make a space specifically for learning for them to create a sense of separation, but not separate from home life, but separate. So like for me, even I like to go into a different space to create an environment that helps me think better. And so I took that and I said, okay, I could switch up our office, which this is where I'm at right now in our office space. And I'm switching this area up into their homeschool room. And so I've been ordering stuff off Amazon like crazy. I'm pretty much shopping at Amazon, Ikea, and the place that I got our curriculum, which we are using the good and the beautiful curriculum this year. So that's pretty much where I've gotten everything. Mommy, yes, baby. Stuff. Put else down? Uh, give me a moment. And so I'm just gonna start like chronicling my process of getting everything together. Obviously, as the school year goes on, I will be continuing to share like the things that we use, the things that, that keep the kids entertained, all that kind of stuff, because that's the other piece is like, how can I keep these kids entertained? Okay, outside of just like doing homeschool stuff. So, so that's what I'm on a mission as of now. That is my current project is prepping for our homeschool journey to truly begin. So this is our room now. Eventually, we will get to a place where this is all nice and organized, but I will give y'all a little kind of idea of how I'm gonna set all this up. So over here that you see is where my desk is and where my computer is. And I'm going to be putting up a few things on the wall above it so I'm super excited about that because it's gonna help me keep specifically the pens pencils crayons things of that nature up above the kids so they can't reach it because right now I have things in like baggies and stuff and every time I'm not looking they are getting into the office and getting to the markers and the crayons and everything and I'm like that is not what this is for but also it's my fault because I didn't put it up. So that's why instead of doing organization bins and stuff on the floor in this room, I'm really focusing all of my materials that I need for them to essentially put them in things that are mounted to the wall are high enough to where I can reach them, but they cannot reach them because they're just still too little to trust, honestly, around the things. So. That's gonna be that area. Then right next to it, I'm gonna be doing my gallery wall here of colors, shapes, numbers, all those things because I want them to be able to see them regularly, but also that's part of my morning plan for them because they are in two different age groups, not terribly far apart. They're only like a year and a half, two years apart but I want to do a time in the day where we focus on fundamentals that'll be beneficial for both of them. So our numbers, that's all right. So we can go through our numbers, our letters, colors, things of that nature together in the morning, maybe do some like fun songs. I don't know, I'm still kind of coming up with my idea of what that morning kind of like 15 to 30 minute time slot will look like when it's the three of us together because my other 
thing is I'm leaving space for us to learn and grow, right? I'm leaving space for me to realize, depending on how they enjoy certain things, to be able to switch up things. Y'all don't worry about the crying you hear in the background. Sarai is upset that she can't be in here messing with stuff, which is part of the reason why I need to hurry up and get this room together because they're, they're seeing too many of the fun things that I've gotten for them and they're excited and they wanna like go through it all. But a key when it comes to kids, young kids, is you cannot give them a ton of things at one time. You need to like cycle things. You need to like, you know, trickle things because it won't be that they're not entertained by something that you give them. But if you give them three things, they'll end up wanting to play with all three things and they'll really go through things quicker than they would if you only gave them the one thing at a time, right? So like, I had to learn that because that's one thing that people don't talk about is like the methodology behind toys and how much you give your kids and how much you don't give your kids. Or so anyway, back to this homeschool situation. I'm gonna do my gallery wall over here. We're still gonna figure out what our morning time looks like. Also, I have a strategy for how I'm gonna actually do the kids schooling because they are in two different curriculums. Micah is going to be doing the Littles curriculum with the Good and the Beautiful. Sarai is going to be doing the Kindergarten curriculum. So my idea right now is I'll be doing the Little Kindergarten with the Little curriculum with Micah in the morning while I have Sarai kind of doing some sort of fun art activity or something that she just like wants to have fun with. And then when Micah goes to sleep for a nap around noon or after lunch, that's when I'll do the schooling for Sarai. So even though they'll be doing the morning time together, Sarai is at a point where she doesn't take naps anymore. She's graduated from that, okay? And instead of fighting her on that, we've decided to embrace it and have her do something quiet, like a quiet activity, or just let her kind of like stick with me or whatever, still trying to figure out what that looks like. But now, once we get into our homeschool year, that will actually be her work time. So that's when we'll do our work time. And that'll be the last thing that I do with them for the day. That'll be essentially the end of their school day is whenever Sarai finishes her curriculum work after, you know, after about maybe 15 minutes to an hour, depending on how much curriculum we have for that day to get done. And then for the rest of the day, Mark, my husband, will be taking care of them. So really, for me as the mom who is actually doing the academic aspect of the curriculum and of the homeschool day, I'm on from like 10 a.m. to 12, 12.30 with them in some way, shape, or form with some breaks in there here and there. But I will start my day really around 8 or 9. So my husband will do breakfast he does getting the kids up getting them dressed getting their teeth brushed all of that kind of thing and we usually have some sort of like worship music playing in the morning when they wake up so that's definitely going to be something we incorporate as well like maybe having a bible verse that we share as a family or just having something visual that they can take tap into something of that nature my bad y'all my camera died so i'm here back on my phone to finish up what i was saying so essentially, my husband is doing all of the life skills aspects of our homeschool. And really, when we say homeschool, it's not in a necessarily traditional way of thinking of school. We are following kind of a meshed version of traditional homeschooling, which is what you're used to seeing, like in K through 12 public school, and the Charlotte Mason methodology, which is what that book was really like talking about that I had put a clip of here that I mentioned earlier and like living and learning and kind of meshing all these things, different methods together. That's how we got to the place of even choosing the good and the beautiful. I am going to be doing a series of videos sharing this specifically. So if you are somebody who's really interested in homeschool, type homeschool down below and I will take a note of you and I will also be answering questions that you may have. So if you wanna type homeschool or have homeschool questions, drop them down below because I'm creating some videos and things to come up that'll help you really walk with, 
walk this journey with me but also ideally is that it inspires you to if not implement your own version of homeschool for yourself at home or at least bring in some elements to your of uh, like the time that you do have with your children on the weekends or whatever just to booster their educational experience because even if they're in a public school or a private school like learning for them especially at younger ages they can soak up so much without them being overloaded but also it's going to be such a great bonding time like a new way for them to get to know you and for you to get to know them and i feel like for me when it came to even helping Sarai with her homework from preschool last year, I felt like it was kind of odd to be tapping in with her randomly for subjects that like I wasn't really invested in, if that makes sense. Like I felt like there was a detachment from my ability to even have like patience with her because I was not in the mindset myself of like being her educator. So it was actually kind of like always in this mode of how can we get this done faster because I didn't want to do it. And that's changed for me because I am doing what I need to do within myself to understand that the investment matters and this is the way that God is leading us and our family to do it. But for you, it may just be planning something that's educationally focused for you, your children, your family on Saturday mornings and making that something that you actually find something like that you are genuinely interested in and your children are interested in and finding a way to bridge that and be a family that learns together because that is such a great way to bond with one another. Sarah, what are you doing? Look, I, I feasted and now it's so juicy. I'm, oh, you're I'm smoothie? Eating. So yeah, so I will be continuing to get this room together, okay? And I'm so excited to see how it all comes out. I don't really know exactly my full room vision yet. I just have kind of like bits and pieces, but as things come together, I think it's gonna look really good. And I'm just excited to get things started.
Babe, you gotta feel how heavy it is. I can tell it's heavy. Look at that. And there's another one growing.